Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. Black Friday is coming upon us and you guys anticipate the majority Black Friday sale as much as I do every year. So I figured I would hop on here and do a gift guide or recommendations video for you guys in case you guys are shopping for someone or shopping for yourself as well. This year I decided to do a little bit differently. I'm going to do four items under 100, four items under 300, four items under 500, and four items under 800. That way there's something for everyone and the price points aren't totally wild. Now if you follow me for a long time you know that I am a huge Majuri fan and I'm so proud that they are local so they are Toronto founded, they are female founded and I've been following them since the beginning of time so just a huge fan in general. I am lucky enough to be one of their affiliates. However, this video is not sponsored in any way. They don't know I'm making this video and I make this video for you guys usually every year because you t seem to enjoy it and I think it's really helpful because these are things that I think are tried and true. Before we get to the goodies, I do want to explain how the sale typically works. This is not official information, but in the past trends, I've just kind of been following that. Hello, feature me here coming at you guys because I got some more information about the Majuri Black Friday sale for 2022. I just received an email from them. So I have a little bit more information regarding dates and I'm excited to tell you guys that it officially starts on November 23rd, 2022 this year, and Black Friday is actually officially November 25th, 2022 this year. So I don't know when it's going to run until. However, I know it starts a little bit earlier this year. Now, if you are a subscriber and you get their emails or text notifications, then this year the sale will start on November 21st. It says, hint, everything will be on sale. But I don't know what the sale discount is. Last year, they said our biggest sale we've ever done. And I was very excited about that because that meant everyone, didn't matter how many pieces you bought, got 20% off. And then in the past they've done, if you bought one piece, you got 10% off, two pieces, 15% off, and then three or more, you can get 20% off across the board. And I'm hoping that they just bring back the 20% off across the board this year because I felt like that was just like a little bit easier. If you bought pieces and then you forgot about something you bought and you bought it later on, like you would still get the 20% off discount, if you know what I mean. And anyone can shop the sale. You don't have to be a new customer or um, use a new email for this. You can use your regular account for the Black Friday sale. 10% off is good, but like you can get 10% off majority throughout the whole year because if you shop like if you use my affiliate link like any time throughout the year then you can get 10% off if you're a new customer or you use a new email you know what I mean but you know like especially for those big ticket items if you're buying something like a little bit more expensive than you typically would be buying like 20% is a huge savings so I'm I'm really hoping that they're going to do 20% again but uh, once again I don't know if they are or not. I will have the Majuri sale linked down below for you guys. You can just shop the sale. When it goes live I will have it linked for you guys. I do want to mention as well if you are shopping the sale and you are looking through my picks that I have chosen for you guys everything is well under the price point that I have generalized it for. So items under $100 are already under $100. They aren't $100 with a discount. So I wanted to make sure that because I don't know the official details of the sale. I wanted to make sure that if you did like any of the items that I suggested under $100, it wasn't like $100 if you got 20% off. It's already under that price point that I've selected. And then once the discount comes in, you'll get even a bigger savings. So that was what I was hoping for for you guys. Anyways, let's get on to the goodies. Okay, don't mind me. I'm going to be looking down because I'm referring to my laptop. But the first items that I'm recommending to you guys are the large hoops. They are $98 regular price. It comes in 14 karat yellow gold and 14 karat solid white gold as well. I'm a big fan of like the solid golds because I just am a person that is a little bit lazy and I forget to take off my jewelry a lot of times. Times. So I find the solid gold is a little bit more easy because you don't have to take it off. Now if you don't know what the difference between the materials are, they do have a description on their website, but essentially 14 karat solid gold is solid gold. So you can sweat in it, you can shower in it, you can wear it every day, you don't have to take it off at all. But if you do go for their 18 karat gold vermeil, 
it's a little bit different. Vermeil is 18 karat gold layered over sterling silver. So because there is that layering, you have to be a little bit more careful. So definitely take it off if you're going to be washing your hands or sweating or anything like that because you do have to take care of it a little bit more. You have that underlying sterling silver. You don't want the 18 karat gold to like chip off or anything like that. that. Being said, they also do have regular sterling silver. If you find white gold is a little bit too pricey, sterling silver is great because you can also wear that day to day and it will not tarnish. It will kind of oxidize. Um, from my experience with just sterling silver in general, but all you have to do and Madri provides like little polishing cloths is just polish it off, but you can wear sterling silver like in the shower, sweating, everything like that. It's all good. Love the large hoops. I actually have them on my list as well. I think they're very like elegant, simple. The size is not like too large, like huge, huge hoops, but they are enough to create a statement and they are just so like dainty at the same time. These ones I don't actually have, but they are on my wish list because I'm trying to incorporate more like silver pieces. The Bold Croissant Dome Huggies, I love them. They are $58. They are in sterling silver, but if you do like the gold look, they do come in gold vermeil, which is at $68. Love the look of them. They're like this like little croissant shape and I think they're just so cute. And another silver piece, this one is the Marshmallow Open Ring. It is $98 retail. It is sterling silver and white topaz. I love how chunky it is and I think just mixing the metals together would be so cute. So interesting because then it's also open and then there's like a little bit of white topaz in there so it adds a little bit of interest to the piece. And then lastly, under $100, the travel case for $98. This item specifically I always recommend to you guys because first of all, I have it and it is so handy. So this is what it looks like. There are four little like necklace or bracelet pieces and then you can tuck them in. There is an earrings and a rings section. This you can actually personalize. You can monogram up to three letters for free and it comes in black leather or beige leather. This is the beige leather of course and it has gold hardware. So, so cute and such a cute little gift. Great if you're, you have someone who is just starting to like build their jewelry collection or also if you travel a lot now that we can travel again, this is a great piece. Moving on to items that are under $250. The first item I'm going to recommend is the jewelry box. This is their classic large jewelry box. It retails for $178. It comes in once again, the beige leather or the black leather. It just has a button closure here and it opens up and there are three trays so one with rings two for like bracelets and stuff like that and then three there's earrings tray can monogram this piece too you can do up to three letters and it will stamp right in the middle there next thing i recommend is the hue necklace it retails for 250 dollars it is 14 karat gold and white topaz i'm actually wearing it right now i think it's a really nice dainty piece i'm gonna get closer to you guys so you can take a look right, mind my eczema but look how dainty that is. Just having layered necklaces as well would be great. Next up under 250, I actually bought this ring for myself last year during the Black Friday sale is the Slim Signe ring. It retails for $250. It is in 14 karat yellow gold. I have it on my hand right now. It's a great layering piece. It had like the marshmallow ring that I mentioned earlier on like your middle finger. It would be really cute just to have like a stack going on. And this one is actually engravable as well. You can engrave up to seven characters on there. So I'm wondering why I didn't engrave Harley last year because that's something I would totally do is just like engrave Harley. But nonetheless, very cute, very personalizable love it. And then lastly, under 250, this is the Arch Vessel. Uh, this is a collaboration between Madri and Claude, and I loved this piece so much. I still am looking for a place to place it, but if you have a friend who's not really interested in a lot of jewelry, or you're just, it's hard to buy for them, but they love home decor, stuff like that, this would be such a good piece. Anything from this, like, collaboration is great. I even have the other one, the pebble, sitting behind me right here. Let me show you guys. But this arch vessel retails for $250 and it comes so beautifully packaged. So really easy, giftable. And this one's the other piece in case you guys were wondering. This one's even less. This one's $148, I believe. And then if this 
like white color palette is not your cup of tea they also have like a red version as well well made and they are just like a little bit more interesting and different to gift Moving on to under 500 items, first item I recommend is the Diamond Band. It retails for $500. It is 14 karat gold with diamonds and I have it on right here. I have it on, on my index right here. You can see it's just like a nice thin band with three diamonds in the middle. It's an awesome piece for people who are like a little bit more bolder and they don't want something too dainty, but it's dainty at the same time. The next piece is one of Majuri's like most classic pieces. It's the Thin Croissant Dome Ring. It retails for $450. One I recommend is yellow gold, but they also do have 14 karat white gold as well if you're more of a like silver person. I have it on my ring finger right here. That's just their most classic, like the croissant ring is one of their most classic pieces. I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the croissant dome ring, which is the one on top. This is actually vermeil, And then the one on the bottom, this is the thin croissant dome ring. This is the 14 karat gold one. This one actually retails for $98. I own both of them and I think they both give like such a different look. I think great for anyone. There's two different price points. Top one, which is the croissant dome ring, retails for $98. It also does come in sterling silver if you're looking for that. And then the bottom one, once again, $450 for the thin thin croissant dome ring. I don't think you can go wrong with a classic curb chain necklace. This is what I have on here. It retails for $4.50. It is 14 karat gold and it is just a really nice flat curb chain as you guys can see. This is great. It's also like unisex like anyone can wear that last item under 500 is actually this bracelet in the middle right here that i'm wearing this is the bold spheres bracelet it retails for 400 dollars and it is 14 karat yellow gold it comes in two sizes six to seven inches and seven to eight inches it does have a clasp like this in case you guys don't like things dangling around i just wanted to mention that because it is six to seven inches and i am a six and a half wrist um, that's why it is like that. So you will have like this little piece dangling if that bothers you. That's something to note. And it actually reminds me of a Tiffany & Co bracelet that I have and it, this one is just like a gold version. I really like it. I love the little beads on it. Are at the last leg of it. I have four more items to recommend to you guys. These are all items under 800. The first one being the Charlotte ring. This retails for 750. It is in 14 karat yellow gold and I love that it looks like a little cake. I'm a big fan of the croissant line and the Charlotte line. I think they are so cute. I love how it looks like a little cake. It is like a big really bold piece. Next to it you can see I have the heirloom ring. This is $700. It is 14 karat yellow gold and honey quartz. If yellow is not your cup of tea, they have a blue topaz version and also a garnet version right now. So I like yellow because Harley is a yellow lab. So I'm always like drawn to the yellow, but yeah, this one is so beautiful. Those pieces are just so beautiful. I typically wear these two together because I love a loud stack. Last two pieces, I wear these on the daily and you guys already saw them actually. The first one being the flat curb chain bracelet. This is the flat curb chain bracelet. It actually is like totally flat so you don't have these things dangling which I really like. It's just such a great piece. It comes in four sizes so six and a half, seven, seven and a half, and eight inches. I am a six and a half so this is perfect on me. I actually find like six inch is like it fits but it's like a little smidge too tight on me so I know that I am a six and a half uh, length here. The paper clip chain charm bracelet $650 retail it comes in two sizes so six and a half inches and seven inches I have the six and a half it's very cute you can actually buy charms to go on to it as well they also have a matching necklace as well but my main recommendation would be this one because I actually just wear all three of these at all times like I love them all together all right guys thank you so much for watching my video I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore hello Harley I will probably be updating the sales as well there it'll probably be easiest for me to update there um, and then if not I will probably end up pinning a comment um, to the top of the comment section when I get some like official information but I hope this helped thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye